I hadn't thought about necessarily having a book publishing company prior to the challenge. The Bass Museum impacts about 3,000 kids in six schools for now, and we have about 300 kids coming in per month for our free family Sundays. People come out to see new performance, completely untested, totally unknown, by completely unknown people, and there's a line and sometimes they don't get in because it's sold out. I might have been the first Jamaican to get it. So the whole Jamaican media was in the papers, it was on TV, took it as being very, very important and very serious because it means that other people would be able to get through that door to be able to help to do their projects. That's important to change communities. I saw all sorts of people in the Ballet Opera House that night that I'd never seen before at our performances. I feel like it's given so many people who have the ideas and are starting to put them into action or about to, it kind of gives them more hope and motivation to be able to do that. I definitely know people who, you know, have been inspired seeing Sweat and Borscht and all these young organizations get actual real life funding that they've furthered their game already and they're not even recipients yet perhaps. What the Knight Foundation is doing with this particular program is changing the face of Miami, but more than money, more than funding, I think it's changing the artist's hopes for progress.